We have uh, okay. a qu couple questions for Jeff and a couple for Andrea as sure. well. So Jeff, first off, the, the first question was, how many students apply for the lottery and how many are picked? Right now, uh, we're not overwhelmed with uh, requests for, this, for the school. So uh, at the present time, uh, there's actually still some spots available if people are interested in getting into the school. Okay. Great. And then, is there any talk about STEM middle schools or expanding uh, MC2 STEM to greater numbers? Um, well, you know, I, I think there's talk about expanding different parts of our school in different ways. Um, I'm not privy to any conversation right now at the district level about it, but um, there are elements of our school model that have been uh, put in place around the country and as far away as Cairo. Mm -hmm. I leave tomorrow. I'll be in Cairo for about 11 days uh, working with an all boys STEM school in Cairo and an all girls STEM school in Cairo where a little bit, little bit of part of their school is actually from uh, our school. And how does that feel to know that your, this model has been exported, not just around the country, but around the world? I just love to see kids be successful and it feels really good that something that we're doing that's helping kids uh, maximize their potential is something that is also helping kids uh, in other areas do the same thing. Great, and we have one of your students yes, as you well. Do. So Andrea, the first question that came through for you was what advice would you give young people seeking out innovation but who are stuck in traditional schools? Um, I would say find a local fab lab. There are some all over the world now and there are some locally in Cleveland, our high school. Uh, there's also one in Lorraine and I would just say just start tinkering with things in your house. It's, it's not about having $100,000 worth of equipment, but you can just simply innovate at home and taking it past the concept. You're not just in this box and you have to just be confined to this piece of paper, but you actually can use household items and DIY stuff, do it yourself, and uh, just create things from at home. But if you want it, access to the type of technology, feel free to come to our school. We're very open. <laughs> um, also, seek out Lorraine. They have open hours to the community, so you don't have to have any type of like pre-assessments uh, for it, but you're just able to innovate from there. Great. All right. Well, thank you very you much. You the right. application question? Sure. Um, I, I should mention that there are some STEM, K-8 to STEM schools inside of the uh, Cleveland Metropolitan School District right now that are applying uh, parts of our project-based model inside of their school. So there's actually five that are K-8 STEM schools in, okay. in the district uh, now that they're not exactly the same model as ours, but they've taken parts of, of what we do with projects and attempted to apply it within their context. Okay, fantastic. All right, well, thank you both thank very you much. Congratulations. Me.